What's up YouTube? This is Demkeys back again with another Unity tutorial and today I'm going to teach you about Box Collider 2D and Circle Collider 2D. As the name suggests, they are both colliders to be used in 2D physics. The only difference between these two colliders is that one is a box and one is a circle. You can adjust both their sizes and even set their positions. The positions will be set in the local space of whatever object the collider is attached to. So let's begin. What we have in the scene is a background, a ground that I've attached a box collider 2D to, and a player object, and of course the main camera and a light so it's not dark. The player object does not have any colliders so far, so let's start by adding a box collider to it. And I've mentioned this before, but I should mention it again. In order for collision to take place, either one of the two objects that are colliding should have a rigid body attached to it. In this case, a rigid body 2D. So let's add a rigid body 2D component to our player object. And now let's run the game and see what happens. So as you can see, the player has fallen to the ground and the box collider is in effect. Now let's add, wait, before that let's take a look at some of the properties of the box collider 2D component. First of all you have edit collider, this lets you manually edit each side of this box. If you don't want to do that, if you want to set the size manually, well actually both are manual but in one case you're entering numbers in the other case you're doing it through your mouse so yeah you can enter the size manually as well and you can set it along the X and Y I'm gonna change these two back to one next you have is trigger this tells whether this tells Unity whether this collider is a trigger or a collider. Next you have material. This means that you can attach a physics material to it to add friction and bounciness. And next you have center. This sets the position of the collider. So if you notice here, the sprite is here, but I've changed the position of the collider so the collider is actually located here. Watch what happens when I play the game now. If I go back to the scene view, you can see the collider is colliding and it stops right there. The sprite does not have anything to do with the collision. I'm going to change this back to, what was it, 0 or 1? 0, yeah. Alright, now let's add a circle collider component to a circle collider 2D component to this object. You click add component, physics 2D and circle collider 2D. Just like box collider 2D you have edit collider is trigger, material, center and in this case instead of size you have radius. Uh, this is because well you know you have to set the radius of this circle. So if you change it to say 0 0.7, the size of the overall circle increases. Let's reduce this a little bit and let's run the game and see what happens. Well, I don't think you're going to see much unless I... Wait, let me rotate this object okay you see this motion this is because of the circle collider 2d now let's quickly add some movement function to this object create a script called move script 01 create a variable called 
move force this is going to be a public float next we need to check whether the A or D or the left or right arrow keys are being pressed so that will be float H equals input dot sorry input yeah input dot get axis horizontal into that is multiplied by move force and then apply the value of H to the X axis of the rigid body 2D component or no the X axis of uh, the object sorry that came out wrong I'm just gonna say uh, rigid body 2D dot add force and so and so alright now we need to enter a value for move force 40 should be enough and now let's run the game you can uh, you can experiment with uh, different sizes different positions let's say for example if I keep the circle collider here let's see what happens now feel free to experiment with it uh, there are many advantages of mixing colliders together and yes you can have multiple colliders and sorry about that so as I was saying you can have multiple colliders in one object and different sizes different shapes they're gonna give you different results so feel free to experiment so yeah this is how you use the box collider 2d and circle collider 2d components I hope this tutorial was helpful do check out these other videos as well the video on the top left teaches you how to use the line renderer the video on the top right teaches you how to use lens flares and on the bottom left is a playlist for the unity 4.6 UI tools series I'm also accepting donations so if you would like to help me out you can send your donations to my PayPal email address which is mentioned on the screen and in the description down below don't forget to like share and subscribe leave your comments below and I'll see you guys next time. Is he quo? Is he fame? Is he even still the same? Claiming Lord's boys, but we never seen him main. I don't cover now on album when he get the chance to hang. Like, damn. One three four. Niggas acting like I never been through them doors. Moved uptown and I rocked a little red. Niggas asking if I'm raw cause I'm out in Hempstead. Like, shit. Who are you? Entourage member or part of the crew? EMG.